Hi guys, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at this 2016 Vauxhall Combo. Um, the customer's complaining of the engine management light staying on, so the little management light down there on the right hand side, and we've got another orange light that comes on on the left, that one in the bottom left hand corner, that stays on as well. Um, seems to be driving okay, but um, just the lights really, that's brought him over to me. Now, looking at it, we've done a code read on it, and uh, in the engine control module here, come out of that, engine control module here, we've got a fault code to do with an intake air temperature sensor. So, ignore some of these. So, the one I'm concentrating on, I've generated a few of these by unplugging bits and pieces. So, the one we're concentrating on is this P0096 code. And the description is intake air temperature IAT sensor two circuit not plausible. Um, so I've, I've put this down to a faulty sensor. So you've got to be a little bit careful with these though because they do have two intake air temperature sensors. You know, so uh, the main point of this the uh, main point of this video is to really just show you where that sensor is so you know what you're doing um and which one to change okay so just to show you on the live data the reason i'm actually replacing the sensor is uh if we go in here have a look at this we've got under engine data we've got the readings for the two intake air temperature sensors so looking down here we've got iat sensor one IA ten, IAT sensor 2, you can see the voltage readings for them as well. Now, IAT sensor 2, we've got a reading of 70 degrees Celsius at the moment. Now, that's obviously ridiculous. Um, and we've got IAT sensor 1's reading about 20 degrees, which also, to be honest, is a little bit high. But uh, the one that's majorly out is IAT sensor 2 so I think that's why it's coming up as not plausible because it's not plausible um, so we're going to replace that sensor I've already proved that it is that sensor um, so, so I know that's going to solve the issue but I'm going to show you where it is um, just in case you have the same issue and you want to replace yours okay so here we are under the bonnet and it's your usual 1.3 fiat engine cdti so you find this in a fiat doublo as well as a Vauxhall combo and i'm sure in a few others um looking at this we have got down here on the left hand side this is your um, airflow meter now this does have an intake air temperature sensor but it's listed as intake air temperature sensor one and the one we're interested in is intake air temperature sensor two so Looking at the plug on this, this is all fine, so the problem's not here. We are looking down here, down at the back. This is the sensor we're after. So this is IAT sensor 2. Now, you can see down here, it goes into the back of the inlet manifold. Just presses in there. And uh, it's it's held in with, with one bolt. Uh, this was quite carboned up. Um, very similar to a boost pressure sensor. Uh, map sensor it, it probably doubles up as one of those on this to be honest but the description of it is a iat sensor so this is a new iat sensor or it basically it's a map sensor or, or a boost sensor but um, we're getting a air temperature reading off of it as well so this is the sensor i'm replacing this is the part number it's the same part number that was on the old unit so i uh, managed to get one of these easy enough it's not a particularly expensive part um, it's a Bosch unit, Bosch number, for anyone who's interested. So now I'm just going to fit this and I'll show you the difference in temperature readings once it's in. Right guys, so the new sensor is now fitted. So if we have a look on here, we've got a uh, much more plausible reading of temperature. So IAT sensor one stood up around 17 degrees, probably because that's probably a bit nearer to the exhaust, so it's probably picking up a little bit of heat from there. But IAT sensor two down here is now sitting at 12 degrees, which is about right for today. So there you go, it's a much more normal reading from that. So let's have a look in the fault memory. I've cleared it, so ignition off, ignition on, just make sure nothing returns. 
looking at that and we've got a glow plug code in there which we're not particularly worried about at the moment we'll deal with that another day but all the other codes have now cleared so um looks like that's a success so hopefully this video has helped some of you for location and the part number and uh if you have that full code um gives you an indication of where you might be looking now obviously there's always the uh the possibility that it's got a wiring issue um but you know in my case um it was quite obviously the sensor so um hopefully the same will work for you thank you for watching guys if uh, it's helped you at all please do like the video and uh, check out some of my others thank you for watching see you in the next one